Most router and switch connections today are accomplished with a single port-to-port -port connection between the router and the switch with the use of sub-interface configurations for the IP addressing. This is known as router on a stick configuration. This method makes it convenient when you want to configure more than one VLAN on your switch, including the management VLAN. But what if you are working with older equipment that does not allow sub-interface configurations? You have to do a multi-port configuration between the router and the switch. This means that you have to either dedicate a single port for the management VLAN or utilize one of your existing VLANs on the switch for this purpose. In this case, we're going to do the latter. Okay, with my DOS box open, I'm going to attempt to ping an IP address on the switch. Okay, this IP address is what I'm going to assign the switch as a management IP address. As you can see, it is unreachable and timing out at this point. So let's go back to the switch. And we're going to interface with VLAN 10 and assign it the IP address. And we're also doing the no shutdown command to bring this interface up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and confirm that the IP address is assigned to this VLAN 10. And VLAN 10 right here with the IP address that we just assigned to it. Let's go back to our DOS box and attempt to ping this address again. Give it a second to converge here. And as you can see, it is communicating. Let's now try to telnet into the switch. And as you can see, we have successfully telneted into our switch using this IP address. Again, the telnet is not the secure way to approach remote access into the switch. A secure shell connection is the best way to accomplish any type of remote access. So uh, this is highly suggested and highly recommended.